What do you think happens after we die? Um, I'm not sure. I've actually thought about this so many times. I don't actually know. Like, a, a big thing I'd say, it probably sounds so dumb, but it would be like heaven almost. But then there'd be like a large screen. Like, I don't know, you like walk to the large screen and you could see, you could like type in your name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not so weird. But then you can like watch over your, your family. I don't know, that sounds so stupid now that I say it out loud. Wait, what do you mean type your name? That's different. Well, like, I don't know, like, like there'd be a screen or like you, you like, you, there'd just be a way that you could like watch your family. Okay. You know, like watch, like watch over your family. Oh, that sounds so stupid, man. <laughs> no, that's cool. I'm just asking you, what do you think? I like how you mentioned there's like a heaven place. What mm. about hell? What do you think about that? Yeah, I feel like. I feel like that would exist, like for for people who have like committed like horrible crimes, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't think it would be like burning like all the time. Like yes, it would be like red and like fire and stuff like that. But I just feel like I don't think you'd be burning. It would just be like a downgrade from heaven, if that makes sense. Like not as prestige. Like it's just like worse. So if there was a heaven and a hell. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're good enough to make it to heaven? I think so. Okay, Maybe. Why, do you, why do you say that? I feel like I've just like... I haven't done anything extremely bad. Like, like I haven't done... Like, how do I explain this? I haven't like... Okay, I haven't done under, underage drinking. <laughs> Hold on. Wait Hold a on. minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, sip of a wine from my parents. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't. I don't think I've done anything too bad to get into hell. So I wanna, I wanna share with you something mm. that changed my life. I'm not judging yeah. you. This is for you to judge yourself. Mm. And then I'll give you the good news after. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many lies have you told in your life? Lots. So what do you call someone that tells lies? A liar. Have you ever stolen anything? No. Is that one of your lies? No. Okay, good. Two more. Have mm -hmm. you ever used God's name as a cuss word? I think once by mistake when I was like six. Yeah. Like I didn't know. Yeah, like, like God, D, I swear to G-O-D, all that, right? Mm. Yeah, I used to say it all the time. And I never mm. realized I was disrespecting the one that gave me my life, gave me my family, mm. you know? All right, last one. Have you ever hated someone? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus said that if you hate someone, that's considered murder in your heart. So based on this standard, there's only four out of the Ten Commandments. Would you be innocent or guilty if God were to judge you? I think out of the ten, I think I've only, like, disrespected two. The thing is, though, that the passing score, passing score, would be 100%. Like, you know... So hopefully you can see that none of us have a perfect score, right? Yeah. None of us are perfect. So in God's eyes, since he's holy and perfect, we are guilty. Now, the bad news is we deserve hell. We don't deserve a reward for that, right? But now here's the good news, and you might have heard of it before. What did God do for us so we didn't have to go to hell? Do you know? I feel like I know this. I went, to a, I went to a very religious school, I need, I need a friend now. When I tell you, it'll be so obvious, but hopefully it'll make sense when I do tell you. Oh, hold on, I have two guesses. Was it that he gave us, like, life in a whole entire planet with all our resources? Mm-mm. I mean, he did, that's really? true, but we messed it up because we've sinned, mm. and then he did something to save us. He sent someone Was it special. Jesus! He sent Jesus, yes. Thank so... You. That is why Jesus died on the cross, because he was perfect and took the punishment for us by dying on the cross. And then God raised him from the dead in three days. Easter, right? Yeah. So, the Bible says, if we declare Jesus as our Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved from that hell that we deserve and guaranteed heaven. Not because we're good, but because God is good and merciful. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that changed my life when I realized that. I was like, wow, Jesus did that for me, for everyone? Like, I don't have to work for it just because what he did for me? 
And of course, that means give our life to him and turn away from the things that we know are wrong because we want to get closer to him, you know? So the last question is for you now. Mm. Would you give your life to Christ today? I feel like it. You being serious? Maybe. Why why maybe? Why why is there a doubt there? I don't know. I just feel like there's like some rules that are strict and some rules that aren't. Like okay. sometimes I would say like so basically I moved to the UK like a few months ago. So before that I went to a very religious school. So I've learned like all the stuff like stages of the cross and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I feel like I've learned quite a bit about it. And I do feel like sometimes when I'm in like really, really bad situations, I do like pray and sometimes and then read my Bible highlights stuff that feels like really connects to me. So mm-hmm. I feel like I'm like yeah so i'll tell you this jesus he was actually against religion the ones that wanted to kill him were the religious leaders because they were so prideful they thought they knew everything about the religion and the 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 rules but jesus was really telling them he wants a relationship with us you know yeah there are rules for our own good but we can't follow every rule perfectly because we're not perfect right i showed you that we, we yeah. fall short so when I ask you do you want to give your life to him it's basically being humble to say you know what I can't do it I need Jesus to, to save me mm-hmm. and I want to start a relationship with Jesus and yeah. over time he will change your heart to do what's right and you will naturally want to do good not like oh I have to do it because he told me to like I, I love him I want to do it you know it's that type of mindset use Instagram uh, yeah. If you ever do have any questions, because I make videos all the time. Yeah. That's that's fine. Make okay. music and Hi. stuff like that. Oh. That's cool. Okay. It's cool talking to you. Yeah. All right. Nice talking to you too. Let it ride, let it ride, let it ride. Don't forget to hit the like, hit the like. Follow God and let him. Try.